Eivor, you missed the opening act. Kurtwe's forward camp melted like a spring thaw at our approach. Is it from here we launch our attack? We do indeed, and we are ready to fight. King Harold's forces are well in place. Only give the word. I will, but before we strike, I have a request. Name it. That Eivor may give challenge to Kurtwe at the gate of his fortress. A battle to the death in single combat. Yes. Is this what you want? Kyotve robbed my father of all honor and dignity. I will win it back. When honor is at stake, let none interfere. And if Kyotve should die before the battle begins, all the better for our chances. Today my blade must do the work of Skuld's sharp scissors, and cut short the cord of Kjotve's fate. Well said, my sharp-tongued warrior scout. May we all live to hear that saga sung. Eivor, a word! Basim, hi them. This feud is not yours, yet you fight it all the same. I find that strange. You find it strange because you are wrong. Our clan, the Hidden Ones, have been fighting with Kyotve's order for centuries. You came from Miklagard to kill Kyotve yourself? We did. Or rather, we came so that Hytham could kill him. My apprentice has been studying this target for many months. Is Kyotve's reputation so great outside Norway? Not his reputation alone. But the order to which he belongs. Something of a rival clan to our own. Hytham, I mean no disrespect to you other hidden ones. But Kyotve is mine. My family's honor is at stake. I understand. All that matters is that Kyotve dies this day. On that, we are agreed. Sigurd is only here to watch me feed your innards to my raven. Look at this! Once again, Eivor Wolfkist appears to take a swipe at me! This... This is my father's shame. Today I take back the honor he lost. I call a home gang! Here! Against the Oathbreaker! I will make you beg as your father begged Wolf King. Squeal as your mother squealed. You destroyed my life! I will take yours! You are weak, like your father was weak. your day to die. Why do you refuse to die? We're not alone, Jotve. The old father watches. My blade will drink your blood. Your flesh will feed my wolves. Ah! <laughs> 
to the crucible of your doom. Your father is dead, Gorham! His debt repaid! Open the gates and you will be spared! Wallow in shit, Wolfkist! Archers, take aim! Ravens, show no mercy! Archers, fire! Glory! 
Predictable. You are a shadow of your father, Gorm. Weak and witless. And you will leave this place as ashes on the wind. Dies twice today. Eivor, 
The breath of battle rises from my brow. The skulls will sing of this night. We have won the day, but Gorm escaped. He fled north to King Harald's domain. Let that bruised piglet run where he may. His father is dead. His clan is no more. We are the masters of Ruyavilke. A toothless cup may grow to be a dangerous wolf. Eivor, stop. And listen. You have reclaimed your honor. Enjoy the night's victory. Tomorrow, we will celebrate. Guth Ormur, relay news of our victory to your nephew, the king. I have done so already, Sigurd. You'll be more than pleased, and will ensure you pride of place at his Althing at Aurekstadir. Tell him we will come, battle flushed and singing songs of glory. Keep company with kings, and you will soon have a crown of your own. <laughs> if the fates have spun it so, linger here and loot what you can. I will bring news of our victory to father before he leaves for Harald's Althing. I know, Sunan. Another time.
Go! Sure.
gentle of this body. Ölvir og glensaði og nöyt sólar á síðasta degi sínum með hann. Now drink Your away. clan is a foul stench. But we are strong, Ervi. Yes, strong with stink. Step closer, seal face, and say that again. I said your stench is strong. That's your only strength. Your stench. Ah, a thirsty foe. Down it faster than me, and you are the victor. Ah, uh, fear got you then. Deep in your belly. That's your only strength, your stench. I will feed your teeth, wrapped in your tongue, back out. Come on, I need a challenger! You have just won your heart's desire, Eivor. Yet by the look on your face, you have lost your will to live. Gorm is here with the last of his men. Why does that troll dare show his face? Leave it for another day. We are here under Harald's truce. And Gorm is too weak to try anything bold. 
Here's a seed stain on his father's trousers. I should wipe him from this world. Not tonight, Eivor. Leave it. Basim, watch over this one and see that he warms himself with drink. I will find my father and escort him to the longhouse. As you wish. Is Hytham well? He will heal, but never fully recover. It is fortunate that you were able to succeed where he failed. My resolve was strong. When you slew Kyotve, did you see a sigil on him? Silver? The size of my palm, bearing the symbol of an ash tree? Take it. Trade it for what you can. I know where Gorm is camped. If you wish to see him without anyone the wiser, there is a trick I can teach you. Already looking for another princess? All right, I'll bite. What do I do? Use your cloak to obscure your face. Blend into the crowd. Divert attention. Hide in plain sight. Is this how your brotherhood operates? You sneak around in the daylight, stepping your victims where they stand. Said like that, you make me blush. We are seekers of justice, shepherds of man's will. We work in the dark to serve the light. I suppose there's no shame in using deception when honor is at stake. And Gorham is a stain on that honor. Then let's see what can be done to cleanse that stain. Give it a try. A few things you should know before you step into his camp. Walking unseen through hostile territory is an exercise in subtlety. A hood makes you forgettable. Dismissed at a distance. Remain far from watchful eyes, and you will be invisible to them. Do not draw blade or hammer, for these and other sudden movements can break your disguise. And in case I wasn't clear, you will need to put up your hood for the trick to work. In the camp ahead. What were you thinking? Drinking mead on an empty stomach? Wait a second! Arka, shit! Take up your weapon and follow me beyond these walls. Let Odin's favor land where it may. You dare not break the king's peace here. So fuck you and your god talk. What say you to that? 
You are all subject to King Harald's truce. Break his peace and you will be cast out of Alrikstad. I will give you no trouble. You were shed into this world without honor, Gorm. And you will leave as a turd dumped into Hell's deepest ditch. Keep crowing, Eivor. You only make yourself an easier target. Mm. The old thing will have started. I should find Sigurd. Pains me to say, he does. Thank you. His day will come. Oh, gods. I hate long speeches. Only when you're not giving them. Many of you knew my father, Halfdan the Black. A great man who achieved great things. They buried Halfdan's leg near our temple. The crops have never grown tall. <laughs> they buried his arse near ours. And we get nothing but a muddy river! I dream of something greater. A vast kingdom of warriors in numbers the world has never seen. United under one king, one rule. Too much blood has been spilled fighting one another. Today, we unify. And turn our blades outward to conquer new lands. And who better to lead us to glory than me? I was blooded before the age of ten, and I led the greatest army Norway has ever seen. But they say a wise king seeks honest counsel, so I ask, who among you rejects this new arrangement? I am not your enemy, King Harald, but I will not be your subject. Tomorrow we sail for greener shores, and so my kingdom is yours. This saddens me, noble girl. And does your wife agree? Is she not tired of limping ever westward? My husband and I are as one in this lord. We do not limp together. We fly. I'm sad to lose a woman of your spirit, Luvina. But I hold no grudge. May the fates grant you good luck. My king! I offer you my axe and my oath, ironclad. Gorm Kjotveson, you dare show your face in this hall. Did not King Styrbjorn and his son Sigurd rid our lands of your foulness? The Raven Clan dishonored me, great king. They poisoned my father, Kjotvi. They made a mockery of his honorable death. Bakrout, you lie! Hold, Eivor. Let it play out. This is a serious charge, Gorm, and a false one at that. My uncle saw your father die. Eivor Wolfkist, you are Kjotvi's slayer. This man has slandered your clan. What shall I do with him? I would send him to hell as I did his father. Understandable. But a quick death is too good for a Draugr like him. 
Gom, I name you Worm and call you Exiled. Leave these lands by the next full moon, or I will feed you to the crows myself. King Harold, may I speak? The floor is yours, King Stebjörn. My people have held our land since the days when Odin himself walked among us. My kingdom is humble, but we have paid for it in blood. Our victory over Kjotve is proof that we will not lay down without a fight. All here have buried friends, brothers and sisters, sons and daughters. And I, for one, have had my fill of death. Let those who seek war look beyond our shores. If King Harold brings peace, then I am happy to bend my knee to him. What? What in hell's name are you doing, father? Securing a lasting peace, Sigurd. Our days of fighting are finished. You said nothing of this to me. Not a word. And I will not yield a title that should be mine by right. Then war will continue. Men will die, villages will burn, you foolish boy. This is our only way towards true peace. You will die a thrall. You'll drink adult cow. Alone and toothless in a bed of straw. Forgive my son. He is ruled by his emotions. I take no offense, dear Bjornjarl. And I thank you for your fealty. It is natural to fear chains, to resist it. But all things change, and all things end. The lessons of Ragnarok are clear. We will speak again soon. That was an ambush, Lord. Did you know of Stubion's plans? For some days, yes, I did. But it was not at my urging. It was his decision alone. Do you dream of a glorious future, Eivor? A warrior like you would be a boon to my clan. My fate is tied to my brothers. Where Sigurd goes, I follow. It would be best for us both if you left Norway, to avoid the heat that comes with such friction. I have no ambition to rule. Only to live and die with glory. That may be, but however firmly we make our choices, it is fate that decides our outcome. But let us leave these matters for another time. Tonight we will eat and drink like gods and wake in a kingdom made new.